Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. I'm D. Christine, and I thought for this video I would take you through my pre-planning process once again. You guys seem to really like this video, and I need to do something a little different than I do most weeks, so I thought let's just do it together. So let's get started. So I'm going to apologize in advance for the New York City summertime ambiance, ambiance, noise <laughs> that's happening outside of the window that I'm very close to. Can't be helped. Um, so just bear with me while we work through this. So if you didn't see the first video I did on how I compile my brain dumps, go ahead and click on the link that should be up there somewhere so that you can see what the basic process is for me um, but this week I, I did a little something different and I think it's something that I want to incorporate like at the end of each month as I start thinking about reflections and starting to think about you know like how well I've been doing or not doing and whatever the case is I thought it would be good to do a deeper brain dump, like deeper. So what I'm going to show you is not something that I've never done. I do it from time to time, but just kind of like unconsciously because I don't want to miss anything. But I think it might benefit anyone who's interested in trying to get something more practical. Like how do you actually come up with the plans? Like how do you actually remember what you're supposed to do? How do you actually do what you're doing? And the truth is I don't have a great memory. All of these things and measures that I use, if you're like me, it's because your memory isn't that great. And so that includes um, things that you thought you did and didn't do or things that you've been trying to get done and it kind of fell through the cracks. There is a margin of human error. It can't be avoided. And so let's just go through this process and you're going to see what I mean. So like I told you guys before, I go into... Google Calendar on my laptop. You cannot do it from my mobile device. And I print out my calendar for the coming upcoming week. Okay? And I print it with outlines on the biggest font. And it's in landscape. And I just print it out. Okay? Now, I'm going to work with this in a moment. But I also got, I want you guys to see that I also took my brain dump. Look how big this font is, y'all. This is... <laughs> So this is actually from my notes app. I save my notes app document with my brain dump, which is like, I guess the traditional, what they would call a brain dump, like a mind map, like just a dump of senseless information that is unorganized. This is what this is for me. As things come up in my head, or as things come up by way of people speaking to me about certain things, I will open up my notes app before I forget and write it down. These boxes are a function of my notes app, I'm on Android, where I can actually put a checkbox. And if I check it off in my app, it's, it crosses it out. But um, obviously I might use this for the purposes of today's brain dump, but it's just good to know, like I can actually go through this if I wanted to rock out with just my app and check off things as they're done and it will cross out the item on the list so I can see where I am. But because I'm going to be translating this into a actual planner where I'm going to be trying to manage my time to get these things done around my obligations, I felt it important to print this out. I don't do this all the time when I'm by myself and I'm not recording on my phone. I might just open the... I might just open up the app and open up the document, but because I wanted us to do this together, this is why I printed it out. So. Um, definitely grab your notebook, your notepad, um, if you have your calendar app and you have access to it, open it up so that, you know, you can see, um, how this might work for you. So I have two things. I have my calendar for this upcoming week and I have my master brain dump document that sits on my phone that I've printed out. And then I also have my brain dump planner is what I'm decided, decided to call it my brain dump planner where I literally just put all my pre-plans for the week. Now, 
there's one other thing that I did before I even sat down here with you guys, and that's pulling out my actual planners. I pulled out my hourly planner, I pulled out my compact vertical planner, and I flipped through all of the pages. All of the pages. I went pretty much page by page, working backwards from um, July back, I think I went back as far as March, because I usually don't let things sit that long. And I went through to see if there was anything that didn't get checked off, that didn't get moved, that made it out of my brain dump and made it into my planner. And I thought I was going to do it in a, the last second. It didn't get done. And so it's sitting there unchecked and it's not making it into future brain dumps because once I take it out of my brain dump planner and put it into my main planner, I usually don't come back here. Right? So I flipped through. I'm just going to show you guys an example. I flipped through um, my planners starting from this past week and I said okay well is there anything that I said I was going to do that I haven't done yet I reconciled my planner um, and anything that wasn't done I added it to my brain dump document before I printed it out if it wasn't already there because my compact vertical is secondary to this notes app it gives me a chance to write it down so I can check it off to like kind of solidify it so that when I'm looking at my planner I see it but the notes app is the go-to so I flipped through and I said hmm is there anything that I said I was gonna do that I didn't do and I'm like oh you know um, I think I was supposed to call the landlord I didn't call the landlord and also, if I flip back, I see that I have a PayPal dispute that I'm working on. And this is a situation where I did my part. I'm waiting for them to get back. And I had I didn't realize that they hadn't got back to me yet. But it's still not done. So I have to put that on my list, right? So I'm just flipping through, like Pinterest. I've been tussling with my Pinterest account. And it's been following me on my to-do list. And now I figured out why it's been following me. It's still on my brain dump list. And I'm just flipping back to things. Some things might not be checked, but they're done. And I know they're done. I'm not going to go back here and check them off because it'll make more sense for me to see that it's not checked here and then to see it repeat again on the following week the versus to see that it's checked here. So I'm like, okay, so then why did I put it here when really I'm supposed to be carrying things over? It's okay if it's not checked off. Not a big deal. I got it done. And then I look back, look at my goals. Well, did I do all the content I said I was going to do? Mostly, um, hardly actually, um, as far as publishing it. And um, y'all yeah, see I'm working on my gratitude, right? <laughs> so like my calendar, gratitude list, D&D quiet mode, settings and things like that that I said I was going to do. Have I done them yet? No. Some of them, but not all of them. And whatever I didn't do is on it's on this list back here so I'm flipping I keep going back flip further back and I just went as far as I could before I just started to see like okay this is old all of this has already been dealt with all of this has been done but wait I was supposed to be working on an article and I did start it this should have been checked I might have been checked on the following week but I didn't finish it and this is from June 8th it's just, just don't be afraid to flip back and see, because that's the blind spot, you know, and especially because plans change, things change. This month was a totally different animal than anything I had ever thought it was going to be. And so things are going to fall through the cracks. Like, look, my social security number. Like, I need to order a new social security card from last month, and I haven't done it yet. No biggie, but <laughs> it has to go on the list. So I'm flipping back back as far as I can as far as what makes sense until I feel like okay yes they're not checked off but they're not checked off for a reason or I know in my mind and my heart that it's done and I did that for my compact vertical and I also did that for my hourly as you can see so I feel very confident in the list that I have in front of me that if I rely on this list and my schedule that I can make a brain dump that's going to fill in all the gaps so now 
working on the calendar. It's from the 23rd through the 29th. And um, there are a couple of things that, that that is not on. Oh no, it is on this calendar. But as you can see, it's very light, even in colors, very light, very faded. Save some ink. And so, what I'm going to do when I picked up like a reddish um, mod liner, but I don't think I'm going to pick that up because it's just it's just a little too it's just a little bit too um, <laughs> monochromatic for me right now. Okay, so I have. The Lord knows what color this is. It's kind of like a seafoam green. That'll do. And now I'm just going to highlight the tasks that highlight the tasks that um I'm, I actually need to account for this week. So I have a coaching session this week. I have see. Oh yes, okay. I have to move the car. Somebody has to move the car. Okay, my friend and business partner is going to be in New York. She's going to be in New York as, um, from Wednesday on. And of course, the class. Let's see. What else do I have going on? So I also have an appointment. This is why I like paper planning. So I got notice of the appointment and I happened to put it in my planner, but the Google invite didn't go out. Okay, but it's all good. So that's Tuesday at 1230. and that seems to be it for the last week of the month so have this down just make sure I highlight it okay so now let's deal with this list now normally I'm going to highlight the stuff that's priority because who, who wants pages? This list is like two pages long. Like I am not going to burden myself to try to cram my schedule full of things because it's just not feasible. It leaves no room for life to happen. And life is still happening as long as you're here. Life is still happening. So I have to leave room for, for some things to, to unfold. So... I'm going to check off the stuff that I've already done. So now what's left, I'm just going to highlight the stuff that's going to be um, prioritized, whether it's because of the time in which this needs to happen or my own personal urgency. Okay, so that's it. Some of these things I didn't really highlight because they probably will happen or not, but it's not something that I have to plan around time-wise as far as my other things. Like, for instance, Instacart. I might, you know, there might be Instacart on its way right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, yes, I might throw that in there if I have time. 
Um, I do try to keep track of how often we're ordering groceries versus when we're going out to get them. And, um, and then like, you know, like, uh, some of these things are things that I discovered, like the article and the social security card, things like that. That's been from last month. That's prioritized. I definitely want to start looking around for a new bed set. Um, and yeah, like I, I had on my monthly that I was going to find new doctors and schedule an appointment. I found the doctors, I didn't schedule the appointment and I just need to make sure that they take my insurance. I looked through a directory to make sure that they were on the list of approved doctors, but I still wanna make sure that, that office is taking the insurance that I have. I've also been saying I wanted to create a new bank account and I need to get some appointment dates together to provide um, to, to people around me so that there are no conflicts. So the rest of these things, they just, they just kind of fall to the background and now we're ready to do our brain dump. Okay, so this is my brain dump. I know everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have three Tuesday appointments, not two. And the Tuesday appointment is down here, and it should have been up here. That's life, you guys, that's life. I um, missed it, and so I just put it at the bottom. This is just a, a document to plan what the real plans are, just to make sense of it. I clearly see that it says Tuesday at 10 a.m. I am fine. You have to kind of be okay with, because what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna write all this down and it's gonna be coup de la, and then I'm going to walk out of my office and someone's going to say something about Monday. So what am I going to do? I'm not gonna tear this whole page out. You know, I'm not going to freak out. I'm just gonna either put it up here or put it on the side or, you know, because I just need everything that I need to do in one place. And when you kind of just loosen up about some of the smaller stuff, and trust me, it, I know how hard it can be because I deal with a lot of perfectionism, but I've come to like relax into it when it comes to planning because you're just planning for what happens, you know? like. 
and this is part of it so that's my little spiel about that because sometimes it's going to be out of order i don't expect this to stay in perfect order and you shouldn't expect your planner to stay in perfect order because what's order it order is what you make it so i'm glad all the appointments are in one place all the to-dos are in one place there's one to-do i deliberately did not add and that is the way in um because like i said i in my mind i know that i need to do this i'll put it on the top of one of the days it's just me figuring out kind of like which day i want to do it on so i didn't feel pressed to put that on i did do a little grouping to kind of group together the tasks that require a call calling support calling paypal calling my doctors and stuff like that um the landlord does not require a call i don't think i didn't get some information and yeah so this is stage one of the plan and so i'm just pretty much gonna crumple this up i'll toss it aside until i finish my plan for the week and then this is what i get to pull out when i this is what i get to pull out when i'm ready to actually design my spread and have fun with it because i don't have to think too hard about this part because i already did that so anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this pre-plan with me as I set up my brain dump for the coming week. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell for more planning content. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram over at Honey Style and Joy. And other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.